Hi guys, today I decided to go on um, camera without my makeup on because it is hot for one thing, but I also worked out, took a shower, and i just not into putting makeup on tonight. I just didn't want to do it. Uh, today was my first day working out in a long time. Well, I walk every day, but when I say work out, I mean work on my arms, legs, stomach, all that other stuff. And I was a little nervous afterwards. I had a little bit of anxiety because, um, you know, as you know, I've had a lung collapse two months ago. And I'm not sure, you know, what is going to happen with working out. Um, but I know I have to work out eventually because that's what helps your lungs be more um, strong, you know? You have to build muscle around your lungs so that when you take, if you know you bump into something, you take a hit, you know, accidents happen, you have to, the muscle can help your lungs, you know? And they can help prevent stuff like that from happening. And I'm not a doctor, I can't say it's definitely not gonna happen. But I know that working out is something that's very um, good and doctors would recommend it even with a lung collapse. Uh, so nothing happened so far. So I, I'm sure I'm in the safe zone. Um, I'm really happy nothing happened because I've been waiting to work out my arms and my legs and my body because, you know, walking does help your legs in your body get healthy but I'm really into the boot camp moves you know the stuff that the soldiers have to learn because they don't have machines or anything up wherever they train but that's my you know I like to sweat I like to feel my heart bumping out of my chest because afterwards you're gonna feel so good you're gonna feel so like I feel energetic right now I feel like my body is sore getting sore but you know, I feel like it's gonna build some muscle inside me and that's what I really want. You know, I always said like, people always say how much I don't have any muscle and I'm like, yeah, I know. <laughs> like, I hate it. I don't like having no muscle. I would love to be able to pick up 50 or more pounds and rock it, but I, you know, it's not, that's not me. And half of it, I would say, is because I didn't work out, but half of it, I would say, is also because I'm on a lot of meds, and they do sometimes weaken your muscles. I'm not sure why. Probably chemicals in it, or I, you know, I really don't know, and I can't say why. But um, that's a thought to why I believe I have no muscle. But I'm working on it, and as long as you work out, because I have worked out before, and it has gained my muscle, like I got a little bit stronger, but you really have to just keep doing it in order to keep the muscle. Um, so, yeah. And I have a little bit of a stomach right now. I kind of want abs, like little abs, not bodybuilding looking anything, but I really want stronger uh, so we're obviously going to start hiking. I bought some hiking boots and, you know, I really want stronger legs because you need... Okay, so mountain climbing is no fucking joke. I can tell you that much. Literally, you start huffing and puffing if you really haven't trained for it or been doing it for a while, so... Hopefully this exercises that I do help me build a little muscle, build a little strength for hiking. I'm also really happy because I just bought a new pair of sneakers, running sneakers and exercising sneakers. It was way long overdue for me to get new sneakers because my ones I have now, they're very um, ruined and the bottoms of the insides kind of ripped out. So. I bought a new pair of Puma sneakers, which, like, I'm very careful with money. I, I, I'm aware I have to be right now because 
I went to school and sorry, my acid is like crazy right now, especially when I'm talking. Going to school and just really have to be careful with the money, but the way I look at it is the the boots and the sneakers were $40 each and if you just have it for a year, at least a year, $40 per pair is worth it. And um, you know, I also got a new pair of glasses, so I'm waiting for those to come in. And I was like, that's long overdue too, because I haven't had glasses for the past year and a half. My last glass pair, my last pair of glasses broke, and um, my eyes have really been straining. I really can't see far. And I feel like, you know, my old boss said it you know you really probably would be better working or doing anything when it comes to having glasses so finally got them I'll be happy when I see them on my face and they are fitted to my you know nose and eyes and um, they're purplish pink and I kind of went for that because my skin has been very white. I haven't been able to go to the beach or get much sun because of my wounds. The skin hasn't healed yet and I'm just very responsible and careful about that. And so I tried to pick a color that could really rock on my face and you know, I didn't want black or any dark colors because it's just not gonna look good. Um, yeah, so, anything else I want to talk about, uh, anything else happened? Hmm. I wanted to say I'm very happy that I'm starting school because I feel like it's needed right now. I feel like well, one, I'm 26, I'm very getting older and getting up there, but also the world is just getting crazier and more expensive, and I think a degree right now, um, even though I have had some struggles psychologically and physically, I'm healed enough, and I'm, I'm strong enough, and I'm, I think I will be mentally strong enough to handle getting a degree, you know? I feel like it's time. I feel like the world is getting more, definitely more expensive, and I feel like it's just, now's the time to do it. I feel like I, I can get through it because I'm very um, smart when it comes to learning how I learn. Um, a thing that is very difficult for me is getting people, other people, to just realize how hard it is sometimes for me to understand what they're saying to me. Um, it is very, sometimes I take it very disrespectful, like, um, I called the social security office once and this girl's just, I was just saying like, I don't know what happened. I don't understand what you're saying to me. And this girl has like an attitude with me. And I'm like thinking to myself, well, you work for the social security office. You probably know that a lot of people that call have brain disorders and probably can't understand what you're saying to them. So why are you having an attitude? Like, I don't get it. You probably shouldn't work for somebody like that, but I know you probably want the money. Like, I just can't handle that, you know? I just, I don't see the point. Like, why would you work for something that has disabled people and you just are so rude and disrespectful? Like, I don't, see, that's what my, I feel like I'm gonna talk to, like meet a professor, talk to a professor that has, you know, that attitude or gets very insulting to me and I'm not going to be able to hold my mouth back. Like I, I'm just very, st I stick up for people who 
deserve to be sticked up for. I, I just stick up for people like me who have epilepsy or tuberous sclerosis. I think it's very disrespectful when people talk sometimes about us. I think it's very disrespectful when people use the word retarded because some people are retarded with my disease. That's the that's the word for it, mental retardation. And to use that as a, a word of attacking somebody or bullying somebody, I think is very disrespectful. Like, I, I don't like to use that word. Some words really get to me. Yeah. Stupid, dumb. I'm not dumb. Like, I, I just need to repeat it. I, okay, so the way I need to learn or keep stuff in my brain is repeating. Somebody repeating it back to me, like flashcards, you're repeating it over and over again and you're getting it. Some people just really don't have the patience for that. And I, like, sometimes I feel like I'm, if I teach somebody like that, I wouldn't. But then I can really grab myself and say, you have a disease too. You need to be, people need to be patient with you. You need to keep patient with other people when you're dealing with that, you know? Um, and I just feel like if you don't have patience for teaching, then you shouldn't, like, I was upfront and I was honest with the counselor from the start. I said, listen, I got this disease. Sometimes it's very terrible for me to understand things. And she was just so honest and she was just so helpful. She sent me like tutoring things and helpful information that could help me during this, during my journey through school. Like, see, those are the people that I, I appreciate and I love and I will not love, but you know, I have deep respect for. Deep respect for them. Definitely. So, yeah. I will be back to tell you more. Um, thank you for listening. Good night, guys.